Hello, my name is Bob Bonzar with the Oskawa Technical Training Department. This is a series of electronic learning modules, or ELMs, for the Drive Wizard software. In this section, we will address managing files, adding databases for custom firmware to load, also viewing and saving files between Drive Wizard and Drive Wizard Mobile softwares. This will include accessing the cloud. To begin, we need to understand that the firmware, or flash file, in the drive shown here, for example, is the standard, and by default, in the Drive Wizard as well. If there are custom firmwares called Custom Application Software Environment, or CASE files, in a drive that we need to program with, we need to have them available in the Drive Wizard software as well. Now to do this, we will need to access the firmware from the website. This will require a partner login. You will need to use your login credentials. Now you can see you're logged in and have access to the Partner tab. In the Partner tab, click on Firmware. Locate the drive application specific. For this example, we'll use the G800. Here are the list of those custom firmwares or case softwares. We will select the Overvoltage Suppression and click on the file to download to your computer. Now go to the Drive Wizard software and select Open. Search for the file you saved from the website. Click Open. Now it'll prompt you to import it. Select Yes. To show this firmware's additional parameters, we can go to the parameter overview if we're connected or already have a related file open. Otherwise, we can demonstrate it by clicking on the drive selection, select the G800, and select the software or firmware version that we just downloaded. Since we're not connected to the drive, we'll select offline. and then the View Edit Parameters. We can see the custom parameters in the firmware by looking in the P group. And if we made any edits, we can save them to the file. If the drive you're commissioning does not have case file downloaded, you will need to follow the procedure to flash it. This is not a random selection. If the drive you are programming has a custom file, it must be supported by that firmware version. If it does not, you will need to flash it to that firmware version. As always, additional information can be found in the program help. For Drive Wizard options, for file options, for flashing the firmware, or starting a new project. Next, we will access the cloud. The cloud allows you to store and retrieve files. This is another great way to backup data. Now, this cloud is only available with the newer drive series using Drive Wizard mobile software. It's not available on the 1000, 7, or any of the previous generation drives. So let's go to yaskawa.com.
Go to Products, Drives, Software Tools for the Industrial, Drive Wizard Mobile with Cloud, then click the Log into My Account. Go ahead and sign into your account. If you don't have an account, then go to New Registration and create one. If you forgot your login, enter the email and click Forgot Password, and it will send you a link to reset it. Note, if a customer asks you for your login to the cloud, it's better to show him how to make his own to use. You wouldn't want to give him your access. Now once logged in, you can see the drives that you had previously accessed and stored data. We can select one from the list. You can attach files to that drive, or later download it from the cloud to your computer. You can also do this with the mobile device with the Drive Wizard mobile app on it. In previous videos, we saw how to get the mobile app and use it. Here we can demo how to back up the drive and store it to the cloud. You can access the file that you would have saved to the cloud either from the PC or your mobile device. You might notice that when you put a file in on the day, it shows tomorrow's date. This is because the cloud is actually in Japan, so it's not a concern. Here we can open the file with Drive Wizard on a PC. Here's a handy thing to do without using the cloud. Say you backed up the parameter file from your drive using the Drive Wizard mobile app. On your mobile device, you can export that file directly. Open your email and attach it to the file. Then from your email on your PC, download it. Notice it has a DWBKP extension. This is what Drive Wizard Mobile uses. Open up Drive Wizard. Click Open. Find the file on your PC. Now you can see the same file in Drive Wizard that we saw in Drive Wizard Mobile it automatically converts it. If you do a quick little edit, and save it in Drive Wizard, it will allow you to save it as a YDW project for Drive Wizard because that's what we use to edit it. What we'll have to do then is we'll have to save it as a DWBKP so it can be reopened in Drive Wizard Mobile. This is not an automatic process. Now I email the file back to myself because I can see the email on my mobile device. I download that file from the email to the mobile device. and import it into the Drive Wizard Mobile. Now if we open it, we can see the parameter I changed, just to prove the file is the same.
and then upload it back to the drive. Pretty neat, huh? Just showing the flexibility of transferring files between DriveWizard and DriveWizard Mobile.